Uh, this is the Corpse Man, another roguelike tech builder that I think it was around two years in early access. Uh, and it was released from early access the September 6th or something like that. So now it's time to try it. I got a key from the developers. So let's see. The game does not have good reviews, sadly, but uh, we will try it. We will try and see. So let's just go for a new game. There should be a tutorial here. Name your character. Let's call him Bobby. <laughs> Confirm. Oh, that's a cute mole. Is it a mole or a bear? Or a mix of both? I just cook it though. I just killed another oh, sitting with me. <laughs> I was hitting him. Bye bye. Oh, someone has a dinosaur. That's cheating. Finally, a fully registered corpse man. Mother and father will be proud. Alright, time to head to the mess. The mess. Hello, Private Bobby <laughs> reporting for duty. Oh, that's a cute one also. Hello there, welcome to the revivification service center. But most people just call us the mess. <laughs> Dr. Mary Sue. First thing on the job, Private? Yes, ma'am. Private Bobby, ma'am. They'll make ma'am a sandwich. And I'll only bother to remember your name if you make it back from your first mission. Wow, that's mean. What? Please follow me quickly, there are a lot of enlisted joining us today, so we will have a little time for the procedure. Yes, ma'am! Ooh! Alright, this is your Living Construct Harvesting Index. Here is where you catalog the creature parts you have managed to harvest and bring back. And before you even ask, no, your fellow corpsmen are not things you can harvest, oh, no matter how vile they may be. Boom. Stupid rules. Now, if you look carefully here, you can see that the council has three creatures catalog for you to use. This is the standard creature combination for all new corpsmen. This area over here is where you construct your creation. Start with the body, like so, and just fill out the rest like you will your taxes. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. Once you are done, just confirm the part you are using with us and register your adorable abomination once it is working around. Alright, go for it. I will be waiting outside of my desk. So, ma'am, I have bloody hell. Okay, okay, so each body part does different things and will develop skills as the living construct develops, alright? Creation, claw, deal 2 damage. Each body part will usually have key features like claws, teeth, hooves, and fangs. These features will allow you newly created, uh, created creatures to unlock different types of moves, so choose carefully. Ah! So it's like the this mecha types of deck builders or the spaceships type of deck builders where you usually are uh, creating a machine and adding customizing it and adding parts and each part will come with the extra buffs and the extra cards. The difference that we're doing it is with living beings. I mean living living beams. Can I inspect somehow? Yeah, ooh, like each part should give me something different. Oh my god, these are all cool. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I think I think that's a good one. <laughs> Confirm. I don't know what I get from this guy, but let's use it like that. Show me. If each part will give me different cards though, I still think they should show them to me before I get them. Live! It's alive! It's alive!
Monster name can't be changed later. Damn it. Call it okay, let's call it Wookie. 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 Confirm. Okay, so I better make sure to imprint on it some basic skills. I surely go with something more aggressive or defensive. Oh, you choose the card types later. When you first give life to your creatures, you will need to instill in them four basic moves which they can perform. They are distilled into cards which you can then use to give commands. 11 pages of tutorial. There are three types of moves your creatures can learn. Attack, skill, power. 6 to 6 gains to toughness. What? What is 6 to 6? Each move your creatures learn learns and uh, use will affect their personalities. Oh the more you make them use a move, the more they will adopt that behavior. There are three identifiable personalities. Aggressive threats or harm move actions directed towards another ring and can include threat displays langing, biting, punching, stomping, and kicking. It also implies a disposition to dominate often in disregard of others' rights or in determined and energetic pursuit of one's sense. First, the aggressive personality having them learn and use attack moves will usually make them more aggressive, allowing them to learn more aggressive moves in the future. All right. Cunning. He's employed in a shoe, crafty, sly, deceiving, guileful, or dexterous manner to get what they want, especially by tricking others or through use of special resources. The secret is the cunning person to have them learn and new skills will usually make them more cunning, allowing them to learn more cunning. Okay, got it. Stay with the stubborn, right? Uh, showing determination not to yield, obey, or comply. To firmly resist or to be resolute, obstinate, or persist in spite of good resources out to. I need to learn, yeah, 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 basically. Ailments. Be careful out there though, as you can contract ailment cards that have a variety of detrimental effects. Gain one week, okay? Some ailments can go away on their own, whilst others only worsen over time before they finally abate, or worse, are here to stay. You can't know until it's run its course. You can remove them at the few, but at the cost of your monster max HP. Most you cannot play more than 5 cards per turn, I mean this turn, in one week. Increase the impetus cost of a random card on by monster one on this arm. It looks like the fever, for example, it will stay on my deck unless I play it for that one cost. While the other ones, I just throw them and they stay in hand, something like that. I, w I will see. So, deal 2 damage, 2 damage and apply 2 weak, 4 damage to all, draw 1 card. I usually don't, I'm guessing the top uh, left part is the cost, I don't like what the high cost cards make me draw cards, it's kind of pointless. 2 damage is usually good for 0 cost, but I don't know how much energy you will have, uh, and how many cards I will draw, so I will go with the basic 2, 1 energy and 2 damage to weak. Farm. Wookie gains <laughs> <the> strength. <laughs> uh, Attack you by the number of tokens. Yeah, let's do it. Farm. Two threaten. Must be target first. Minus one at the end of turn. Oh, so I will have multiple creatures. Ooh, apply 8 block to all. Sounds good, but 3 energy sounds like too much. Let's get it. Wookie gain 6 block, gain 1 card. Feel like 8 damage under 1 card. Wookie gain 6 block. Also, want the 6 block. Now let's go with 6 block. I'm getting too many blocks. After this, I will try to get more attacks. Oh, I see you're all done yet. Nice love. Lots of gusto in it. Yes, yeah, thank you, ma'am. I'm all done. I name it Wookie. 
<laughs> oh, you name it. Well, I suppose it's just a decision, I guess. Anyway, I know you young kids have short attention spans and time today is short, so I will let you borrow two creatures from the Berserk for you to use them. Oh, I can have two more creatures, okay? Oh, look at those cuties. Oh, can I call the right one Diesel? Like a monster diesel. This experiment 626 and 627 respectively. May they serve you better than they did their, ma their maker. Oh, what happened to them? What's the show? Try not to get yourself killed out there. I will hate to have wasted my time on precorps. Now, please head over to the dispatch. See, this man is a secret for time. Yeah, ma'am. Man, that lady is abrupt. Well, better do what the lady said. Yeah, give me some combat. Give me some action. That will longer than expected. Dispatches is uh, up there. Start running. Dispatch. Go. Gotcha, gotcha. Considering they are going to be like that, the way they are there. So middle should be you because you are kind of the weak one. Uh, you should be the top, and you should be the bottom. Something like that. Embark. Private Bobby, you are late! It's 9 on the dot, sir. And if you're not early, you're late. And you ain't early. Sorry, sir. Learn from your mistakes now, kid, because right now it's free. Later on, these lessons will cost you an arm or a leg. Are you ready for your first mission, Private? Yes, sir. Not really, but I mean... Alright, Kido, this is the quest board. This is where you'll grab your mission. First, you want to look at what your environment your mission is going to be in. There are four kinds of mission. Easy, standard, hard, and hellish. Ooh. Easy and standard missions are the non-city critical jobs. This means that you can retreat from them when the going gets tough without much concern. The hard and hellish missions are where monsters are stronger than normal and where you either complete the mission or die trying. Let's start you off with an easy mission. Here you can see that there are different lengths of mission as well as what you will get from the city should you complete the mission. Now go! Time is wasting! Yes sir! I said hustle! Yes sir! So I just go? Oh I get a map! Right boy, here is your mission map. You can see that your mission traverses across different biomes. So plan your team and your route to the mission objective properly. This brings up back memories. Alright, here's your first lesson. Keep your commands quick and clear, and most importantly, don't die. Alright, now go break a leg. Oh, I want an elite fight though. Sir, sir, pulse! Combat. Use cards in your hand to defeat your enemies. Each card is separated out by creature. The left side is the top creature, the right is the bottom. And cards required impetus to play. The cost is located in the upper left corner. Okay, so let's say stop. Okay. At the start of your turn, new cards are drawn and your impetus is renewed. To the right of your draw pile, an impetus are indicated to show you how much you'll draw and how much impetus you'll get next turn. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Gain or apply block using defensive kill cards to intercept incoming damage as shown as the damage indicator. Excess damage is dealt to the creature's health. At attack momentum in one stream for every four attack cards played. Block momentum in toughness for every one four blocks block cards played. Shows incoming direct damage. Damage indicator block shows a commodity block to prevent incoming damage. Alright, alright, alright. During your turn, uh, watch for the enemy intent in front of their health. You may not always know exactly what they are doing, but you will learn. Rain turns are aggressive, blue intense powering themselves, green are cunning. I think I will take the left, it might be a stupid decision, because I don't really know how the game works right now. But let's take it. First combat, so this guy is attacking with 8 damage. I have 5 impetus, which is pretty good. Uh, then block to myself. It's 
6 to 7 against 2 toughness. Do it. What is exactly toughness though? Increase block apply by the number of targets. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You deal damage. Deal more damage. Is this the amount of HP? 56? Yes, that is. That's it. And, and turn, do I discard, right? And turn? Yes, I discard. I keep the block, though. 10 block to all. Yep. Wookie gains two strength. Yeah, that's right. And end turn. Now what is he doing? He's getting a buff, I think. Four damage. And I think block for everyone. If we keep the block, let's keep adding block for everyone. Nice attacking with 10 to Wookie. Three damage, not a lot. Three more damage, not really a lot. I have four energy remaining. Uh, let's throw cards. Three more damage and more block to everyone. And turn. 14 damage, I think it's time to go with that. Yeah, I think it's time to go damage only this turn. Damage, 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 damage. So this guy has toughness too. He has a weak. I have to remember I'm also getting strength by playing cards. Oh, she's attacking with 14 to everyone. But we all have block. More block anyways. 6 more block. Oh, and attack once again. I'm missing attacks. I think the zero cost will have been a good idea. Six block and draw one. Four damage. Four damage. Uh, next turn you are dead. This guy is stunned, I think. Is it because of his previous attack or I did something? Ah, uh, he's not dying. He's surviving with one HP. Oh, unless... Ooh. Oh, you're half a dead new monster path. Alright. Next. Creature has learned has creature has learned a new skill. A card can be upgraded, but I cannot do it. Can I? Except your private Bobby, you didn't die. Now remember, although you cannot retreat during a fight, you can do so when it's over. If you feel like you cannot go on, just backtrack to fight another day. Not trying to do that. Fast forward. Though doing so will fail the mission and we will confiscate all the goodies that you have gotten along the way as penalty. But at least your creatures will be alive and both you and them will have learned something. Got it? Fast forward. Yes, sir. Oh, damn it. I just... <laughs> Click on it. So they say I have a an upgrade or something like that, and I could not click on anything at all. Okay, so next guy should be an elite fight. That might have been a terrible decision. Let's get toughness. I'm blocked for everyone. Start building on. Ooh. 
Good morning, Lark. Damage and weak. Damage and weak. That's a lot of weak. And normal damage. In turn. Oh, he's stunned. Wookie's block. And draw cards. More block. And a bit of damage. I'm enjoying the musical, so this now is 15 of another type of damage. The guy is getting a lot of block. I will have to start the... Have to start, you know, just dealing damage at some point. Need more strength. Six block and draw one card. That's it. But it's time to deal damage. 13 damage. Draw. Oh, those were nice draws. He's dealing 24 damage. I can easily deal with that. But damn, this guy has so much shield, this is never going to end. The thing is, I also have a... a lot of shields. So we are kind of stuck in this situation. He's going to get more shield now. Well, finally, I'm dealing damage to him. Finally, I got rid of all the shield. Now it's only 17 damage. Oh, block to everyone. He's still is so much damage, even when. He... Oh, deal 10 percent less attack per stack of weak. Oh, so it works different than in other games. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought more stacks would be like longer duration. Draw one card. Oh, I'm only drawing Wookie cards. Nice. I got this though. 18 damage, but you're going to get so weak. So weak. I think stacking on shield was a good idea. Shield. He's dealing 26 damage. I think now it's time to go for the uh, for as much damage as he can. Draw. Damn it, though. More block for Wookie. Uh, more of that. Uh, a bit more of luck to yourself. Like, all of the other guys have, like, over 60 blocks, so you need more. But it's attacking with 26. And like I say, I don't need to block anymore. This guy is just dead. Eventually. <laughs> She's dead eventually. I hope there is no penalty for not doing fast. Because I'm going to be really slow in this game. Ooh. Six to seven has become stubborn. Alright. Six to three has become aggressive. And we can nothing? Okay. Creature has learned a new skill. Gorb deal 10 damage, string is applied. No, I think uh, this one. Learn. 
A card can be upgraded. This one learn a new skill. Or damage to all, apply 2 damage and apply 2 bleed to a random enemy with the highest bleed. If any bleed, release apply it and at the start of the creature turn, lose 1 health. Minus 1 at the start of turn. Mm. Let's learn it. A card can be upgraded. Three damage and two weak. Three damage apply three weak randomly consume one card from your discard pile. No, I don't like that. This one. Three damage and draw one card. Apply one vulnerable. Take one extra stack of damage per stack. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, I don't know. Like, 3 damage doesn't really look like an upgrade, if you ask me. But randomly consuming one card, I don't think I like that either. I think draw one. Wait, can I play that other one? I can keep upgrading, okay. Then I just, if it's, I can keep upgrading, let's go with that. And Wookie, what do you have to upgrade? And yielding? Oh no, it's to one more cost. No, 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 no. Another? Oh, they have different type of types of upgrades. This six damage applied two weak. No, it's the same one. Randomly consume one card from your discard pile. Ah uh, no, I I don't like it. I don't like to trust random stuff, so I'm not doing it. Let's combat. Setting it with eight. Toughness. A lot of block. Be that much on that. Turn. Ooh, blood. Oh, wait, it got consumed, though. Oh, not bueno. Not bueno. If it gets consumed, it's not bueno. Is attacking with 12 to everyone? I did not like that then. Oh man, I messed up. I messed up there. What blood? I will apply this one here. So maybe you can make him a evolve or something like that. I want Wookie to be aggressive too. If possible. Bleeding. I'm not really stacking the bleeding though. Right? Yeah. I mean, it is stacking by default. I am not really st stacking it. Throw one more and cannot really use it. Oh man, I'm so sad about the consume. It was like the way it was taking crappy free damage every turn. Does he lose the weak at the start of his turn? Yeah, he does. Uh, he just deal a lot of damage. And more damage. I can block everything, so no reason why to keep worrying about blocking. Just kill him. I want to draw one more. There. A card can be upgraded. 
this one has consume. All get two threaten. Free counter. Ooh. Yeah, good. Another one. No, I think the 16 damage. The stun though sounds great. It honestly sounds great. For an emergency type of situation. Hmm. I will take this one. Draw two, consume, draw four, no use draw three. Like no, I don't see why. If it will cost zero with consume, that will be great. I will upgrade, but no no. That can be upgraded, this one. Randomly consume now. What's the retrain? Discard experience to reroll possible upgrades. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about the consume of the other still. Same enemy. With toughness. Mid block. Draw cards. Uh, bleed. I think that's it. Not the best turn. Block for everyone. Strengthen here. And a bit of damage. Turn. Oh, what was counter, by the way? When attack this damage to attack equal to the token amount. Then have the number, okay? Kill that one. Kill this one. Draw three. In block and draw one, I think is better. Not really. More defense for Wookie. Ooh, 12 damage to everyone. But if I do weak, 9 damage to everyone. I can deal with that. Block for yourself. Block for yourself down here. Not really, I don't really feel like drawing more. Now she stunned. Lock and a little bit of damage. This time I'm not stacking that much in block. Block to everyone. And turn. And you are most likely dead next turn though. Oh, but he's blocking, getting 12 block. Or maybe the bleeding? You are taking 13 to everyone, I can easily block that, but let's use another one of these anyways. Die. A card can be upgraded again. Unyielding. Yeah, I don't like the consume, so let's just take that one. A card can be upgraded. Ooh, now this one. Consume, deal 2 damage and apply it truly to a random enemy with the highest play, if any. Oh, but it goes 0. No, 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 no. Bleed 7. Oh, if it's bleed 7. Oh, yeah. Do it, do it, do it. I don't think the devil will, that will ever happen. Okay, now this might be scary. Oh, he's the same guy. So we good. Damage and draw. Damage and draw. Uh, toughness and wall of flesh. Start with the block right away. Because this, this guy hits hard. Block for everyone. No, 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 do not play that one. I'll play this one down here. Tough 
davon. Ah, von da glaube ich das. Now he's attacking with 15. Do that. Weak, yeah, let's do weak. And some bleed. At least I will be slightly dealing a bit of damage. He's stunned, damn it. No reason why to draw cards because I'm not going to be able to play them anyways. 15 damage to everyone. Gain weak. Gain more weak. And now shield everyone. Oh, you have 6 counter. Uh, when attack deals damage to attack equal to token amount. Ah, uh, not a lot. But still useful. Keep going with the bleed. Sadly, I cannot stack a lot on that. And honestly, you just deal damage. I have over 30 block that usually when this is over. Over for him. Fifteen damage to everyone, nothing to worry about. And not even playing more block. He's just get dying. Uh, I mean, there are three. Jump, jump, and bleed. I mean, more block up here. I didn't really understand if if I am like they are getting upgrades depending on how much I play because if it's like that I better try to prolong this a bit more, you know? Chomp. Uh, you play this one just to play it, and I'll go with that. Nice. Wookie has become more stubborn. Oh, he became stubborn. I wanted Wookie to be aggressive. But I mean, Wookie is stubborn, so <laughs> it kind of fits the character. Uh, has a new skill. Damage and draw one card or two strength. I will get the strike. No, I don't. I don't really like. I think strength is just better. Yeah. The card can be upgraded. Chomp. The train. Bloodlust. Oh, I can upgrade it again. Alpha. What is alpha? Must be played before other cards in your hand. Deal 3 damage and apply 4 bleed to a random enemy with the highest bleed. No, no, no. <clears throat> yeah, let's do it. New skill. Another strengthen? Yeah, let's do it. can be upgraded. 3 damage to Wikia. Yeah. I think with you I will get the consume version because I have the other guy as the tank. So what do I... I am in the campsite, what do I do? They are all full HP. Each feeding costs 4 pounds of flesh. 
I'm guessing feeding will be like healing, but if I die there, all full HP, I'm fine. Go. Oh, I like the boss design. Okay, so start with that one. It's random. Nice. Defense to everyone. That this is a sad starting hand though. Strengthen and apply weak to him. That's a really sad starting hand. I'm surprised that the six to seven did not draw any block. Oh, again. Oh, there it is. Block to everyone. Okay, now we're talking. No, I will not use it yet. Strength. Uh, toughness. Can he kill this guy? Just kill him. Maybe it was a waste though. The last one, I mean. He cost one more. I don't care. Block everyone. Uh, I should have played this one first though. Wait, he didn't play it. What, happened? what happens if I don't play it first? Alpha? Must be played before all the cards in your hand. But I didn't play it before other cards in my hand. What happened there? I'll play weak. Oh, why is 6 to 7 getting so much damage on him? Do you have- Oh, it has poison! The start of creature don't take poison damage equal to a number of tokens. I have absolutely nothing to do against that. I read some- Before playing, I read someone that says that the game is fun until you have to deal with poison. Because there is absolutely nothing to do against it and you just die. And it's absolutely true! <laughs> there is no way to cleanse this shit. Oh my god. I need to kill this shit. Bleeds? Oh, the start of creature stones. Okay, so it should die. The top one is dead because of poison. Oh, the first one in his hand. Okay, 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 okay. But now this one... You should die. I'm stunned because of course I am, right? Get rid of that. Oh my god, I can finally stack on this. How much bleed do you have? The complete has been consumed to fuel another creature faction. Oh, Wookie, don't die. Don't do this to me, Wookie. He's dead. Oh, Wookie, you survived. My god. 
Like the way this game escalated, I went from not taking any damage at all in all the previous fights to almost die. <laughs> you have you failed to have syntax limbs, alright? So did the other one just die? Deal 2 damage 3 times to a random enemy, 6 damage applied to bleed. Deal 4 damage, draw one card. Consume. I don't I don't really like those consume cards. And here we'll try to go with bleed, learn. It's funny I keep upgrading the one that I did not want to upgrade. I just told Flock. You get a new discover monster part, okay? Next. So was that at the end of the run? You're back! Yes, sir! The squad took a beating and we lost 6 to 7. Yeah, that's sad. That's really, really sad. It was, I really liked 6, six to 7. That's probably the reason why I got too funny was because of him. But we have successfully completed the mission. I'll, I'll be damned. You are one of the few who actually com complete their first mission. We have talent kid. Here's a little extra to spend on your new batch of creatures. Ooh! Can return 6 to 6 to Miss Barnes there. And what happened with Wookie? Good luck, Private. I will be giving my ass on you. So. Preserve? What is this? Hello? Uh, Miss Barnes? This is Private Bobby. Oh my, you're as clean as they come. Hello there, I'm Lieutenant Bernstein. Uh, but as you know, everyone calls me Miss Barnes. Now, how can I help you? I was told by Mayor Singh, Singh to come here to register for a stable space. Alright, dearie, let me take you to your assigned slot. Just so you know, I also deal with retiring creatures from combat duty. What do they what do they do when they retire? Usually, pop plows, run the electric wheels, or send messages throughout the city. Alright, here we are. So I still have Wookie. Does he keep his cards upgraded? Oh he does. Great monster. Let's try to go with a uh, thank you one again. Wow, so bad at this. Haven't I got him better parts? They just go with black. I don't have a proper name for you, I'm sorry. Uh, block? Confirm. I need to try. I really want to get a tank with me. Block? Oh, bite is great though. And toughness. I did not get the card that I wanted though. And where can you go to? Or something like that. Wait, let me. Wait, 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 wait. Finally, cool. There. Good shop. Oh, I can go to the shop shop for new parts. It's better to do that and then keep creating. Oh my god, there is so much. Ah, uh, chop shop. Show me some new parts. Welcome to the chop shop. All things are fresh from the wilds and straight from the chopping block. Anything in mind? This is my first mission, so I'm looking to expand my catalog. I'm not really sure how the parts matter, though. Confirm. 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 All right. Create another monster. Confirm. I have no creativity. This. So you're going to be Mr. I want you to be a killer. Ooh. Bite. Go with bite. Toughness. Block. 
Oh, let's go on yielding. Let's heal that much. Now here? Hello there, what do we have here? Private Bobby, sir. Oh, good, good, the most excellent. Um, hi. What is my madness? I'm Professor Jack Morton, your local amnesiologist. I make your little creatures forget. Now, let's see what we have here. Oh, tell me you can, I can remove cards. What? I'm missing... Ah, uh, I'm guessing I need, they have a minimum of four cards, so not yet. Academy? Welcome to the Academy. Haven't seen you around it before, new? Yes, ma'am. Private Bobby. Well met, Bobby. You can call me Sergeant Rossi in public or just Rossi in private. I take care of the facility here with Ryan develop tactics for battle. If you need one of your little friends train me or one of my team can help you with that. Thank you, Rossi. Let to be helpful, Bobby. Just remember that what your creatures learn will lead to your specialization with creature. Good luck, Private Bobby. Go out there and make us proud. I will. Thanks, Rossi. The want... The one that I want is not here. Maybe I need something specific. Get this one. Go farm. So now if I go back, let me see. If I go to the, the few I think it was. This will permanently remove the car. Oh, yes, confirm. There. Okay, I think that was it for now. That was then my first try to uh, the Corfan. Uh, enjoyable. Pretty enjoyable. Sadly, things that I don't like about the game first. Uh, I, I like how I'm assembling creatures, like with different parts. But I'm not really sure what I'm getting from each part. I would like to know what each part is granting me, like as possibilities, as future cards, as future stats. Uh, if you this, like these parts uh, fit better with uh, some kind of build, or feel better, like if one parts are more aggressive, some other are more uh, defensive, some are good for bleeding, some are good, like that kind of stuff. I would like to know because I have no idea. Right now I'm just adding parts, and I did not see. Now is the first time when I went to the shop. Not to the, for the, to the shop, to the academy. I require some parts to learn some specific moves. So that, like, I would like to know what parts will make a better tank, for example, and what parts will make a better uh, attacker, something like that. Also, uh, it, it's uh, as I said. Once you, there is nothing to do against. At least nothing yet. Nothing to do against poison. If you find an enemy yeah, that just deals a lot of poison, you are basically doomed. And if there are enemies that you still damage and you have blocked that that's you just beat them. Uh, so far it feels unbalanced, but fun I will see in the future. But I will keep trying.